This is going to be a quick video to show you how to draw custom shapes with Affinity uh, Designer using two different tools, the Vector Brush Tool and the Pen Tool and making some adjustments, adjustments with the node, node Tool. So the first easiest way probably is select the Vector Brush Tool it's right over here. Let's go ahead and change that color. And we can just click and drag. And you'll notice that put it on a layer. If we were to click and drag again, that puts another one on a different layer. And click and drag again, so forth and so on. We can adjust the width by using our bracket keys or going up here, right there. But I'm going to use my bracket keys and adjust the width. And we can just click and drag, and of course it puts it on to another uh, layer. And to change the color, we can just go right up here and we can change the color. And there we have the color changed. Now we're going to go start, and we're going to use the pen tool. Select it right here. And up here, we're going to use pen mode to start with. And you click one point. Then you click to another point, creates a line, click to a third point, continues to create a line, click to another point, creates a line. And notice what happens to my pen. It changes when I come up here. It changes. It's, I know it's hard to see because it's small, but there's an X right now. When you get up here, it turns into a, a, an O or a zero. And you click there, and that's just telling you when it, when it turns to that zero, it's telling you it's ready to connect those lines. Now you can use the pen tool in conjunction with the node tool. If I click on the node tool, I can drag it around. I can change the shape. I could put a, another node here and drag out from that. And let's say I want to com uh, continue to do something after I've come off of it. I could come back over here and click wherever I want to click. And you'll notice the pen changes from the uh, little spider looking thing to a little zero around it. That means I've come back and I've connected with that point and I can continue to draw out. Now I can drag out click hold my spot there and drag out and create curves I come up here and create a curve and if you want to have curves made for you go up here and select the smart tool and you click click here and it's automatically going to start curving for you Now we can go up here and select the line mode and it will create a line that will terminate. If you recall earlier as we were clicking it continued on with that line over here. However, it won't do that over here. I can click down here and it's going to create something new. It's going to create a new layer for that. Let's see it again. Another layer has been created. And that's really all there is to using. You just got to play with it and, and mess around with it and get what you want. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like? Leave a comment. Subscribe. You have a great day.